Tired of fake lashes that leave a mess? Or have you looking like you've got caterpillars on your face? Well, the Diamond Brink Store is here for it all. They've got natural mink lashes that are cruelty-free, reusable, super soft, and comfortable. They've also got a wing 3D effect. Check out the lashes at the Diamond Brink Store at myshopify.com. Sixinshoes.com. Six Inch Shoes is a high-end online shoe store with a huge collection of stunning footwear and accessories. Step up your look with Six Inch Shoes and accessories from global brands and local designers. You can count on Six Inch Shoes to elevate your style quotient and stand out in the crowd with stylish footwear and accessories. For more information, go to SixInchShoes.com. This portion of the Miss Jones in the Morning Show reunion is brought to you by our friends at Sarah Brown Caterers. With their new location in Oak Bluffs, Martha's Vineyard, you can make a reservation now. Go swim, enjoy the island, and come back for a catered meal. Plan for your friends. They'll cook and cater for you. The information's right before you. Sarah Brown Caterers. Hey, everybody. You're missing an earring. Hello, lovey. Okay. Hello, lovey. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. Happy Halloween. Happy belated birthday to me and Mike. I fucking miss you. I miss you too. I see you doing your thing out in Arlington improv. And every time I go on IG, I see a commercial and I'm like, oh, you want to be starting something? You already uh-huh. know. Rents do, mortgage do, cardinals do. These jokes is real now. This ain't this ain't for fun. You're not even enjoying yourself. <laughs> I mean, real talk, like that laughter means something different now. It means a whole lot. It means it means a lot. It means it's a, a lot. nervous chuckle. Yeah, I'm like, okay, cool. Netflix is still on. Then another laugh. Okay. Right. This, Disney cable. Plus is still on. Yeah. The okay. cable's still on all together. Right. No, I, I get it. Yep. The kids are that's happy. motivating factors. But look, mm-hmm. that's what that's what grown people do. Like back mm-hmm. in the day when we would do a morning radio. We didn't care if the cable was getting turned off. We said things that we acted like we didn't care if they came and took the house. Mm. I know that's right. But now we're grown. We still play too much, but we got mortgages. We got mortgages, yeah. yeah. And sensibility. I I can't go to my parents' house again. Not unless it's all the way necessary. That would look crazy. <laughs> that would look like ultimate failure. If me, a fiance, and three kids came back. And three the- kids <laughs> that are like teenage kids. They're not babies. They're teenagers. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what my biggest fear is? I've been lying all these years to my kids that they have a college fund. Oh, I shit. can't afford to be exposed. I, I ran through that money. <laughs> I remember the night. It was the Borgata. The 28th of September. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, but not funny. Because I got to put mommy's money back in her purse before she find out. That's yeah. what it is. My kids can't find out that mommy ran through the tuition. Five two nine going. Yo, at ninety seven, I drank so much with you that when when it was time to go to the bank, you know how I found out I had a, I didn't know I had a college fund until I went to the bank and I was running through my accounts like checking everything. Mm-hmm. And she was like, and I said, whoa, 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 whoa. She was putting paperwork out. That's back when everything was papers. You know, there was still paperwork. And I was like, whoa, whoa what was that money right there? She said, like, that's the college fund we set up when you first got the job. I was like, well, that gotta that gotta come out. <laughs> this is real now. This is real talk. This she, is looked real. At, she looked at I me. I never like, heard this story before. I was like, no, no, for real. Like that, that we're gonna have to do we get taxed? Do I get taxed on that? Jesus. That <laughs> is funny. At least you had that to draw on. Oh man, listen. Listen. <laughs> Education's oh, wow. overrated in my house, goddamn. Listen. <laughs> All, all, all asses will be working up and over here. Oh, Hi, research. Hey. 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 Speaking of education, I've been doing middle school interviews and applications all week. And what kind of middle school? In, you mean prep school? Prep and private school? And independent schools. Yeah. That's all like it's saying. a thing. Ugh. Had to take the day off and work yesterday to do it. Were you interviewing kids? No, the school is interview- interviewing us and my daughter. Oh, oh, live that life. Go ahead, live that life. Go ahead. All right. Welcome. All right. Well, All right. Welcome to my nightmare. Go ahead. It's a lot of work. Well, oh. my past nightmare, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, 
you look up and you look down, you have five applications in because like New York City Board of Education middle schools suck. So you look up, you look down, you're a thousand bucks in from application fees and they want to interview you, the kid, the kid needs to take a test. You need to come take a tour. They want to interview parents. They need your, um, your birth certificates and they need your, your mortgage paperwork on your house. Like it's a, it's a thing. And, and, I'm and some people shocked. Hi, some people hire consultants. Oh, that's stop. that's a good five thousand dollars up front. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it that prep school, independent school, private school is all the same. It is a real thing. It's a thing. Yep, my I, daughter I, did great yesterday, and I slipped up and was like, "Bitch, you doing a good job, bitch. You doing a good job." Ah, yeah. And then I caught myself. I was like, "Oh." We're not friends. Sorry. You did a good job. (laughs) My husband looked at me like. (laughs) You didn't have your little Florida water to spray in your own face? Spray in your face. No, no. We was downstairs. I wasn't here in my office. Bless yourself. Everybody looked at me. I was like, bitch, you did a good job. My husband's like, no, (laughs) no. You can only front for so long till the real chick come out. You can only front for so long. That's it. And there she is. (laughs) Here I am. There's the Brooklyn. Here I am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Applying to prep schools and all. Here I am. Well, I'm happy to share the experience with you. So, you know, I know. Call me whatever, because I think I took a lot of extra steps just not knowing. And you don't want mm-hmm. your kids to not get in because mm-hmm. you shortcut or don't take an extra step. Right. But um, it is a lot of work. And Mike, you'll know it. Your kids aren't in, your kids will be going to high school soon, but for, it's the same as if they were going to college when yes. they go to prep school. No, they're already in high school. They're already, the girls are already in high school. They're, right, they're no, but they'll be years. going to college when yeah. they have to go through like the yeah. acceptance thing. And Bro. the college acceptance thing is very much like the middle school mm-hmm. and, and high school prep school thing in that they got to do essays. Mm-hmm. Every college has different essays. Different questions different admissions officers, your kids got to know about the school and be able mm-hmm. to speak of why they want to be a part of that, what programs they have that speak to them. Mm. It's a lot. Damn. But congratulations and welcome. Welcome to the journey. <laughs> it's a lot. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> so look, we I feel like we have it. We be throwing this little YouTube show away. We're not going to throw y'all away no more because... Uh-oh. Who's that? Shaylin. Oh, speaking of prep school. Hi, scholar, son. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I do know that. Show. <laughs> you need me? Oh, anywho. Wow. So what's wow. been going on, Mike? Hey, nothing. Just talking. Just talking. What show, what show is coming up next? November. Oh, this Thursday. This Thursday, I'm at the Arlington Improv. Then I'm back on the East Coast, the 18th, the 19th, and the 28th. So I fly so, back. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see the I see the the advertising for the Arlington. And I feel like left out. I'm gonna have to take a trip down. Not a big fan of Texas though. But I guess I'll have to take a flight down. You know what's funny? I'm just gonna sound crazy. I really like living out here. Really? It's, it's the politics. Right. That's well, you gotta, the issue. Yeah. Okay. But when you when you come out here and you find everything that you see. Mm-hmm. And I ain't gonna lie, you would like it uh, because you got your you got your away place where you can stay away out the city. OK, it's like a 15, 20 minute drive. And then you can go right into right into what you want. And you got space. OK. And the prices ain't outrageous, even though they're going higher now, because obviously it's a you know, it's, it's yeah. not a buyer's market. No, but you just got to understand nobody even really talks about the political aspects because we all know what it is. So really? everybody, go, everybody goes to vote, but they know what it is. They done, they've been raised out here. They've been raised out here. Oh, so they know that, you know, they getting kicked in the ass and we just kind of like rock with it. All day. All they know, especially women, poor women out here. They, they like, yo, what if a woman, what if I get raped and I want an abortion? They like, oh, nope. Nope. <laughs> Simple nope. and plain. Nope. But what if my father did it to me? So nope, that's your business. That's your business. But the living out here is actually dope. 
It's almost really? one of the things I, I don't like saying it too much to too many people. <laughs> you don't want to spoil it for yourself. Yeah, I don't right? want to. I tell people, shut your mouth. This should be Atlanta in seven minutes. <laughs> you know, that's right. It, 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 shout to Atlanta. You know, I that's Atlanta. right. Shout out to the A. Big ain't, shout nothing, out to the a. ain't nothing but New Yorkers in Atlanta. Ain't Let's nothing. be clear. Nothing. nothing but New Yorkers. I go down. I run into. Hey, didn't I go to high school with you? Run into people left and right in Atlanta. Then I'm at Port. Right. I, when I started seeing Puerto Ricans out here, I said, "Okay, we talk." <laughs> I said, "We we talking absolutely too much right now." Y'all tell me, y'all spreading the word too much. Too much. Yeah, shitty politics, but great living. No, it's great that's, living. For that's real, the for new real. motto for Texas. It's kind of scary too, because then when I go back to the East Coast, I realize. What is really the difference? But I ain't going to get too deep into that. Well, what is the difference? Exactly. Just some figureheads give you a different spiel on a different angle. Well, you know, today is election day in the tri-state. Yeah. And I am not thrilled with who the candidates are for the mayor of New York. And once again, I feel like I'm picking between the lesser of two idiots. Not even two evils, but two idiots. So you might be on to something, Mike. I don't want to, I, I don't want to bring anybody ho- hopes down, but my dumb ass. I needed a nap. We nap already, time. Good. Yeah, we already yeah. said naps are very necessary. Exactly. Yeah, I woke up and was like, I think I need to be voting. Mm-hmm. So I get in the car and I go to what I think is the place that I'm supposed to be voting. And I'm standing in line we go. and I'm like, what the lady in front of me, her name isn't coming up. And then it dawned on me, that happened to me once when I, over here, it's by town. Mm -hmm. So even though we have the same zip code as the next town over, I'm already in my town's system Mm -hmm. and no other town has my information. Mm -hmm. I got out of the line, got in my car and said, you got 20 minutes to get back to your town, to your regular place, the little courthouse. And I was able to vote and I have my sticker, but it's downstairs. I'm not lying. I believe you. (laughs) But I saw it was a lot of people and I've never seen this many people vote in a primary. No, I don't think this is a primary for you. I think this is the governor race for you, isn't it? I knew that. Oh, damn, it is the governor race. That's right. That's why it's my, the mom, governor. Was, that's why my okay. mom was so lit today. Oh, yeah. that's right. Because they're the trying governor. to get Phil Murphy out. But I, his commercials, he came on everything he promised. And he came through with his. Um, but, you know. Jersey folks like Trump. So there's a, a big so there's, Trump. there's parts. There's counties. Yeah. Like I happen to live in Monmouth County, which is a huge Trump mm-hmm. county. But Newark, let's not forget. That's true. Edison. Edison. All the it's Jersey more, City. Yeah. 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 So we'll see if the I forget his name. He has a difficult name to pronounce. So I'm not even gonna try to botch it, but we'll see if he makes it happen but he's a no, huge trump supporter. Phil murphy's gonna win again phil murphy's gonna win again because everybody's er, no nope, i don't think people are complaining you know what i mean they mm. may not have voted for him but they're not mad now now mm. the schools lost money and parents are having to come out of their pockets for dance lessons or after school programs and stuff like that but now was that due to him or was that due to covid issues i mean they're always gonna blame it on covid they're COVID's gonna blame gonna- it on COVID's going to be the excuse for the next eight years in office, but they're going to blame it on him, even though it might have been COVID. They're going to blame it on whoever the Democrat is in office. But. Mm. Hmm. But he did vote to legalize weed for them. He did do that. (laughs) I'm anti that. That's a gateway. And I don't need you to be weeded up. And my son is about to start driving. Yeah, no. As I pour. Did y'all hear that? Y'all didn't hear that. I heard it. We heard it. I it saw you take sport. you take you took seven sips since we've been on. <laughs> Stop my all right. I'm not gonna drink. This is hot chocolate anyway. This is I apple know. cider. Bullshit. <laughs> apple cider. Anyway, it's good to see you guys. Let's get this show going. Bitch, it was. You got on the phone with Jalen. We were going. <laughs> Did the walk my off. son just made he called to make a very important decision. Okay. And and he wanted my input. Listen, that made me happy. That's growth. You know how you know how good it feels for your son to call you and ask for your opinion on something. Mm-hmm. When he could, but he's at school. He can make his own choice, even though he's still in high school. But he, because I hope mm-hmm. he's getting that we're a team. 
Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's Congratulations. That's Congratulations. Good. That's that's today. Nice. Mm-hmm. Today at least. So. <laughs> so this I- this Saturday I'll be in Philly. They are welcoming me back for my happy birthday. I you know my fortieth birthday again. Again. For the thirteenth time. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. We're gonna be at the Belmont Mansion. Mm-hmm. And it's a public party. $20 gets you in. Not the $20. $20. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get your tickets at Eventbrite. Just type in Miss Jones Birthday Affair. It's all black. Mm-hmm. And Ooh, nice. I think it's over at either one or two. I think. But just get there at nine. And um, it'll be good to catch up. Philly. Philly mm-hmm. love Jonesy. And Jonesy love Philly. Who back in them streets? Jones it who back in them <laughs> blocks? Jo- who somewhere she not supposed to be at three o'clock in the morning? Jones Jones it. <laughs> always, <laughs> always at the after hour gambling spots. What oh, with a man. fur on, with a fur and antlers <laughs> and antlers <laughs> and dice, pink dice in my pocket. Why? I'm gonna try and put my earphones in. Okay. Go ahead, try it. And see. If it don't work, we can edit. Hello? Oh, there you are. Can you hear us? Hello. I can. <laughs> okay. How are you? What's that? <laughs> well, what else is going on that we didn't talk about, man? Oh. oh the new uh, station that went on, the new hip-hop R&B station in New York. Baby. Baby. Hey, what's going on with that research? What's good? All I listen to is the block. I don't put nothing else on in the car. I'm being completely honest. It's on in the in the car. That's what it is. We have not changed the station since they started two weeks ago because mm. the music is appealing. I don't want to hear people mumble and people half sing, I want to hear 112, and I want to hear Faith Evans, and I want to hear a little bit of um, Biggie, and a little bit of some South music that we all grew up on. It's, it's good for me. That's the difference with, that's the difference with our age now, is that we want to hear people sing, but we still want to hear somebody sell crack a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Just a little just bit. A little just, bit. Just, just a little bit. We need we need baking soda. A tad bit of <laughs> baking soda. Is, are we asking for too much, Mike? We, we just don't want to OD on it. Like we don't. That's we right. we, just, we want to reminisce. We just want to OD it. on it. And I like That's that it. mixture. I like it right That's there. That's it. They Not play a little Keith. Gets shot. They play a little Keith Sweat. Yes. And then a Keith Murray. See and now. Keith- is, and now we balancing it out. Now now we have balance. Now we have balance. Yes, I've been enjoying it. It's good that you can listen to it with the family. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to run in there and turn it off. Kind of, sort of, but yeah. You don't have to, you don't, right. You have to run in there and turn it off because Flex forgot to put on the clean version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Remember those days? Hell yeah. <laughs> you see the warm line ring, the whole studio lights up and you're like, what? Because in the studio, we have the music down. Turn down. We have yeah. no idea what MV, Mr. C, Flex, Mm-mm. nobody's playing until you see that ring. Who the fuck let up? I'm like, oh, hold on. Uh, yeah. As I wave but, to the booth, I'm in here. <laughs> Tracy's on the phone for you. <laughs> right, that ain't had nothing to do with us. <laughs> you like this. <laughs> Who is that? Tracy, but I'm on the phone. So here, talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Jonesy on the phone in the studio? <laughs> on the phone, for real. I mean, ice cubes, you got in that glass. Like, because you- I need one big one. Yeah. I tried to be grown. <laughs> And get some whiskey. Whiskey. I think this is whiskey. It's, it's, oh, that's that's, that's whiskey. That's, that's whiskey. That's whiskey. Oh yeah. Whiskey. Just, when, when did when did we switch to whiskey? I just had a birthday and didn't get to celebrate it, so I'm like, oh, this might be nice to try. Okay. So this this is gonna be a strong 15 minute uh, podcast. What's gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> Because what we're not going to do is let that whiskey kick in after 35 minutes and keep talking. That's what we're not going to <laughs> No, we're do. not going to do that. <laughs> That's not what we're not going to do. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Yeah. I'm That's with so you much. on that, Mike. <laughs> no, listen. No, it doesn't have to. But back to that new station, The Block, I was saying, Mike, we are, we, without knowing, 
have presented that type of option. Do you know what I mean? This reunion show yeah. reminded everyone that grew up with us that we matter. Mm-hmm. Like uh, our lives, our, our listening lives matter too. And we mm-hmm. need a station that's going to appeal to us. And mm-hmm. let me just go ahead and endorse us. Might as well. Your listeners grew up listening to us. Mm-hmm. Facts. So y'all might as well come fuck with us. Facts on and, facts. And let us take that station. Let us welcome you to New York. Let us help you find your place mm-hmm. in the block. Let us help break you into the true New York experience. <laughs> and let us put some polish and shine on your station mm-hmm. and help mm-hmm. you settle in. We're the welcoming committee. Come into the comfort zone. Just come into the comfort zone. Right. And we not we don't play as much anymore. Because again, we got tuition. Yes. And mortgages. Mm-hmm. Multiple mm-hmm. car notes. Car notes. Multiple so, and, policies. And and just we have kids. Those are the, 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 the policies that matter the most. Now I have to move with grace. Because mm. the shit I say can come back on them. But if it's just me in them streets, that was a different story. <laughs> 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 but when you got to think about people rolling up on your kids or yes, a school saying no we don't want you at our school we're very <laughs> familiar with who your mom is mm-hmm. do you know who my mom is oh uh, yeah that's yeah. why we don't want you mm. <laughs> exactly why we don't want you we don't want that narrative anymore so <laughs> congratulations to block welcome to new york we appreciate having you here mm. absolutely yes. kids are still always white we need to get you in some sun, like Mohegan sun. Nah, we good. Nah, I'm talking yeah. about just regular sun. Just the Caribbean sun, sun maybe. Sun, sun. <laughs> Mohegan sun. So we might be in some Florida sun because Jay's team got invited to play football down in Florida. But I gotta sell popcorn. You gotta sell popcorn gotta sell for popcorn. what? Um, so hopefully to raise money for our plane tickets. That's how the whole team gets this based on pop. What do y'all got? Pop, what is no, the popcorn laced is, with? Like, what are we this doing? Is, like, what the? This, this is, is just popcorn. me and Chad. Look, this has nothing to do with the rest of the team. Oh, what this is y'all. This is y'all <laughs> playing <laughs> tickets. Oh, oh. oh. We asked too many questions, it. Mike. Hey, I can lace it with whatever you need. You can get whatever you want. <laughs> but y'all play like, tickets. We gotta sell popcorn or something. That's hilarious. <laughs> but then I'm like, if we're down here. From the third to the tenth, and Envy's car show is the twelfth. We can go from where we're at over oh. to Miami. What and city is the game in? Orlando. Are you going to drive down to Miami? Hell no, that's five hours. Best. <laughs> we can hop on a little commuter flight. Okay. Jalen can meet us for his birthday, and bam, right? Nice. That's a whole lot of popcorn. That's a lot. I was about to that's say. I was saying the same thing. Uh, who popping this? All but right. that popcorn is so good, that double good popcorn, that's what I'm going to be selling. So look for a podcast every other day. <laughs> Brought to you by double good motherfucking <laughs> popcorn. <laughs> Who wants to go to Orlando? We want to go to Orlando and get some of this double good popcorn. It's great right. popcorn, though. It really is good. Um, But what's going on in the world? What do we need to... Who we need to get at? <sighs> I mean, I mean... Like no, we, who, who do we need to support and encourage and 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 grace them with more compliments? Who who else do we need to uh <laughs> who we, who we gotta get at? It, I gotta it, get it, back it, in it. Well, it all depends on what direction you'd like to go in. Lots well, of things are going on. I don't want to talk about Alpo. Rest okay. Peace, but Why? that will not be a conversation because I'm just scared. Like Alpo is the Cameron from Paid in Full movie. For nope. those of y'all that are going to ask, okay. who's Alpo going to... Let's say right, Jonesy. Movie. Cameron was Alpo. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cameron yeah, played... Yeah. Sorry. I yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Cameron played Alpo in the paid in full movie. So go do your research and... That's it. Yep. Leave it at that. One of the most underrated movies. I really did like paid in full. I really did F with paid in full. I really it was did. a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. But it was actually a It was a, a good well- movie. Actually, Cameron really did a good job acting, which I was shocked when he was casted for that. And then when I saw him, I said, wow, OK. I said, yeah, because yeah. I didn't necessarily like the casting in um, Notorious. 
Mm-hmm. It was cool. I could see that. It was cool. I enjoyed the movie, but it was cool. It was cool. I didn't like um, Notori as Little Kim necessarily. I don't even know who played. Remember who played her? Oh, girl. Tasha Patrick. Tasha yeah. St. Patrick from Power. Yeah. Oh. Notori Norton. Yeah. Hmm. Can we talk about BMF? What? What? I can't play with 50 no more. In real life, I'm tired of this. 50 going to stop playing in my face. Too much. It's too much right now. He got back-to-back TV hits. And I, yeah. Yeah. BMF, have you watched it, Research? No. Oh, my God. That's why you're like. You got to come on, mm-hmm. Research. You got to come. You, you, you got to come. Know. You gotta come mm-hmm. on. It's it's good. No, it's good. It's good. It's it good. Really and, and we don't know those. We don't really know those people. Mm-hmm. So, I've seen clips of it. I've seen clips. Good. Yeah. Good. I've been too busy watching the new Wonder Years <laughs> and our kind of people. Go bitch. black. The Out black Wonder the Years. Head. Oh, Go it bitch. is so good. The black Wonder Years. I see. Hell it. Okay. yeah. That shit is good. Yo, you such a good, nostalgic. you such a good mom. You got your kids watching the Wonder Years. All my kids are watching BMF. Like it's crazy. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm such a bad, such a bad parent in real life, yo. Yeah. No, but at least they have options because we only had good times and all is all's in the family. <laughs> all's in the family. We had the Jeffersons. We had the Jeffersons too. Right. Good. T- yeah. You said good times. What else we had? I'm saying we didn't have no black version of Wonder Years. No, we didn't. And our time, our kind of people. I like, I like our time, our kind of people. Mm-hmm. It's totally different than the book. Mm. I read the book years ago. Um, okay, but I'm just excited to see our people Us. on TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In different scenarios. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is that's true. Because all Puerto Ricans had was Chico and the man back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get discouraged. <laughs> Oh man, Chico but, and the man. That's what but no, have. but you know how that feels, and I don't want to. Like it sounds crazy to go. Oh, but wait, then you had Rita Moreno in West Side Story. Yes, oh, that's my, then, because it sounds crazy. That why does right. it only have to be one? Yeah, or, and, yeah. Why? Mm-hmm. It should just be what it is. Yeah, you know. So Let those are the shows I've been watching. Keep talking. Keep talking. Um, I want to pull up something. Mike, you have you seen Squid Game? Have you been watching that? Have I watched it? Really? Have I, have I watched it? Yo, I you I, like I, it? I that there's something about that that program that I think there was a gas that came out the television that brain why I couldn't stop watching. You didn't like it? No. I understand because you either are totally caught up in that or you hate it. That's yeah, everything I, mean, I get from everybody. Right. It's like, what the fuck is this? Then I read it. I read a couple of articles from um, Korean Americans, right? Mm -hmm. People who speak fluent Korean and they're like the translation from um, in the uh, subtitles and in the, the verbalized translation is off. So you're not even getting the fullness of what the characters are saying. And so I was like, yeah, I don't want to watch that. If I can't, experience Wait, it the way it should be experienced. did you I'm watch gonna... it did you watch i it? did i watched two episodes no 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 you have to watch the whole thing Mm-mm. it's like watching 15 minutes of day Chappelle's closer and then commenting on the whole thing you gotta watch the whole i'm telling i understand the first episode i told everybody there's gonna be a span of 20 minutes where it's really gonna drag and you're really gonna sit there and be like why am i watching this right and then the second episode but then when you get into when you get full game on when they're strictly in that game and you realize the symbolism of what goes on in that game or what people will do for money when they are desperate. And you see the, the commentary of the one team that is a husband and wife, and I mm-hmm. want to blow it for everybody. Mm-hmm. But there's a husband and wife that it looks so, you're like, good, they're working together. But you have no idea that this husband and wife are going to really have to make a decision over this money that, that's going to fuck you up. Like, it's really going to, I'm telling, I'm just saying, just give it a chance to watch the whole thing. Squid Game tough for me after like two, after two episodes, maybe three episodes. If you haven't got me, you're not going to get me. I'm I, 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 you know. Oh, you're that girl. Yeah, I'm that girl. You're I don't have time. That to invest. girl. I got I need to watch Law and Order. I, love I need Law to Order. watch NCIS. 
you know, mm -hmm. I'm watching um, Insecure. I have my staples, you know. Right. And so I have very few time slots for extra Available. Yes. Available. No, I'm like that <laughs> right. too. Because in between that, we have children and you actually cook dinner. I just, you know, right? I do a lot. You cook dinner and prepare. I am driving up and down to football practice and uh, and and another football practice over at, you know, and so there's very limited and then I need naps. So I'll fall asleep on you if you don't get me. If you don't if get you don't me. don't nap to my attention in the first few minutes, I am I'm napping on you. Mm -hmm. Just get through the first two episodes, Jones. Just get through the first two episodes. I'm telling you when you get to three and they are fully in this game, you can't stop watching it. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll always, try it again. Th the end result is always death. Okay, because I, because, yeah. because, I did that for the Nick Cannon show, and like, no, that didn't. Oh, that did, that didn't work. And from what I understand, he's being canceled. No, it's been like five minutes. Nick Cannon. They, they don't have that type of time either. <laughs> they take naps also. Right. <laughs> during his show. Yeah, <laughs> during his show. During the show. Ouch. <laughs> And what's crazy is that they were going to move him into Wendy's slot since she wasn't coming back. Yeah, I did hear that. But allegedly, the ratings are so bad that they're like, no. So everyone's allegedly is making calls and scrambling. Like the people that work behind the scenes on Wendy's show are trying mm -hmm. to find other gigs. But don't call Nick's people. <laughs> it's a mm -hmm. dynamic with Nick. Because there's certain times where I really enjoy him. When I watch him on Wilding Out, yes, I really I feel love him on Wilding Out. Wilding Out is dope. I feel like they let him be that Nick, or he allows himself. But then when you put him in this box of be this talk mm -hmm. show host, no daytime talk show host. That's yeah, a whole daytime. Yeah, that's a whole different thing. But oh. even, I promise you, even if they gave him a late night talk show, they would lock him in this thing where okay, you're gonna interview guests. And you're going to do this. And I just don't think, look, I'm no professional like critiquer, but I don't think that fits Nick. Well, it depends on what network. Like maybe mm -hmm. if he were on a Fox Soul at night. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Fox Soul. Yeah. Yeah. Loosen that, up a little bit. Yeah. Right. And 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 figure out his pacing because there is a transition that goes from a wilding out definitely to daytime yeah. talk. Yeah. There is. Wendy made it look easy. That's why everybody thinks they can do it now. That's why you got Leah Remini and Sherry Shepard and all these mm -hmm. people. Sherry, yes, yeah, she did the view, but they wound up getting rid of her. And it's not easy. And it's for me, I think that whoever takes over Wendy's show, the next, it's going to fail. It's not going to be. And then they'll probably try a gay white man. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Because that's really what Wendy was underneath <laughs> oh stop it oh jesus <laughs> and then i'm getting wendy but and then that may or may not it may it may resonate with someone and that may be it but it still won't right. be black woman on daytime right. and i hope that the wendy show understands that mm -hmm. and just you know yeah, and for me it. go ahead mike no 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 and you know what's unfair we never hear about ratings and i hate to say this when a white uh -huh. new show comes on, we don't hear about their ratings three weeks into it. Drew Barrymore. We don't hear about Drew's ratings three or four She's weeks the into worst. it. She sucks. The lighting. Ugh. The other she girl. Was... The girl, the America, uh, American Idol country girl. Uh, Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson. We didn't hear about her ratings for the first three or four weeks. Horrible. Oh, you're, not the only one right. that could, you're not the only one that sings, bitch. But you're still <laughs> horrible. That's a good point, Mike. That's so a when, very, very so good point. Nick's ratings come out three weeks into it. And mm -hmm. we all know, even Jonesy with more on the radio, the first three, four weeks is tough. And if you don't mean anything, if you're going to judge it on that, then what the like you, you, that, you he already, that he can never win. Right. Yeah, exactly. And then the, the other question is, are they pulling out all the stops? Because like with Drew Barrymore, they pull out all the, I don't know who, who's the engine behind her and that but show. But she was given a lot of gifts. She was giving yes. away gifts, money, trips, this and that. Yes. Yeah. She even posted with had, Dale in the morning. Nanisha asked on her show. That's when I said, yeah, they, yeah, it's a lot going on here. Trying to appeal to everybody. But oh, well, I'll, we'll ask, I'll talk about that. I'll ask that question later. That is <laughs> why I reserve judgment because I realize the power of my voice and my critique. Yeah. And I said, I won't be the one to ruin Nick's chance, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. He's new. 
give mm-hmm. him a chance. But I think what happened is that while he might have been given a chance if Wendy came back to stop the bleeding with her gone uh, and that big hemorrhage and now him not yeah. doing great. Now that's hemorrhaging. Right. Somebody got to put a hole in, got to stop right. the dike. The, the, the bleeding's got to stop. Right. All right, let me ask you this. Don't kill me for asking you this. So on Jasmine, Jasmine Brown, right? Brand? The Jasmine Brand. Mm-hmm. Jasmine Brand. This this is what I alleged. I really read it, but I don't know how true this is. Uh-oh. They're saying the ratings have spiked since Wendy's mm-hmm. been gone. Now, is that because they're yearning for her to come back and they're watching every day to see if she's going to be back? Because my mom watches. My mom's like, when she's coming back and she knows I know you, so she's burning my ear off. <laughs> Acting as if I'm calling Jonesy at nine o'clock at night. Is she coming back? What is she coming back? <laughs> and, and, you, you, and you do. And you do. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you do. Shut up. <laughs> no, but what do you think about? Because I think they were trying to take a stab at her. But at the same time, I'm like, they're still playing her show. So if they're spiking, maybe people are just missing her. Right. I think people are trying to see, is she coming back? Because all the hype until recently was, she'll be back next week. She'll be that back this right. week. She'll be... She called me and was like, Jones, I'm so excited to be coming back on October 6th. I've got such great things planned. I can't leak it to you, so don't even ask. And I was like, okay. But then the 6th came and went, and she wasn't. She's not answering when I call. And Mm. I don't know. I was going to drive by, drop by on the 24th, but I wound up not being able to get to the city. And now I think I'm a little afraid. Like I said, let me just go to the doorman and have them call upstairs for proof of life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I need encouragement. Like, I need somebody to come with me. Fuck. Yeah, because I'm concerned. And and then I find out two days ago that her raggedy-ass ex-husband, Kevin, and Uh-oh. his raggedy-ass um, bitch have gotten engaged. And I said, that's it. Wow. That probably took Wendy over the top because she already allegedly was struggling with the, not allegedly, with the Graves' disease. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I don't know if the COVID was real. I told her to her face, I don't think you had COVID, bitch. I think you got something else and you want to give us COVID to throw us over here so we not paying attention to what's really wrong with you. Because I know my friend and that's how she does. Mm. And she said, Jones, I don't think I had it either. But she hasn't come back. What I do know is that she had a broken heart. And not just from him, but being disappointed of the loss. Her mom, then the fight with her brother, then the public humiliation from that bum that she married and all the shame that goes around along with it. Now, we can all say, oh, karma, karma, karma. But when you're in it, mm-hmm. you just want the knifings to stop. So now that her health is declining on top of all of that, you and this raggedy bitch decide to go public with your engagement. And then who tells people how much the ring was? $80,000 supposedly. That's Wendy's money. Like, y'all are, that's how stupid mm. y'all are. Can I break down how stupid Wendy Williams' ex husband and his new bitch are? Right y'all, keep, y'all keep on doing shit to publicly humiliate her, and she's already going through shit, and she's already not coming back to her baby, which we all know is her mm-hmm. pride and joy, which means there's really something going wrong. Y'all be the two dummies to take her over the top, and guess what? All the money stops. Y'all ain't That's getting true. no more monthly checks because they're getting monthly checks. All the money stops. So y'all aren't even smart enough to say, let's just keep it quiet that we're engaged and let's have some grace mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and let's give her some space to heal. No, this is why I say you're a clown and she's a clown. And clown, like, send in the clowns because y'all are right here. Clown. Yeah. How do you do that? Like, y'all are so stupid. $80,000 ring. You think Wendy's not hearing about that? You right. think that's not making her health even... Have you ever heard of dying of a broken heart? Because you guys are killing her. You are killing her softly. And you don't even realize that in the long run, God forbid she dies. Y'all are cut off. There's nothing Done. else. You back to being a fake masseuse that never was. And Kevin, you back on the block and not the new radio station that me and Michael Sean put in the universe, put in the universe, put in the universe, we'll be (laughs) there. I just had to say that. like, And I hope that doesn't make me seem like, oh, there she goes again. But yeah, I have to stand up for my friend sometimes. You got to do the right thing. She can't stand up for herself right now, but I can. 
thoughts, opinions? No, nah, it's it's a it's a public service right. announcement on if you're involved in a toxic relationship right now and you see the red flags, get out of there. Because these relationships, right? Like, you're right. It, it has sucked the life out of her. And, you know, there's been a lot of hatred that's gone back and forth. And what you, the point that you made that if you make this woman sick, you're losing your check. But I think that's how toxic and how much hate is in between. Yeah, they don't care. These individuals now. Mm-hmm. But why do you hate somebody that said, here, take all this money? I don't even want to fight with you. I'm cutting you a check and I'm going to continue giving you monthly support every month. Where is the hate, nigga? You the one that went and had the baby on me. And I'm saying, here, take take my money. And I'm what? giving you what you wanted, your freedom mm. with this bitch. But it's not enough. You know why? Right. Because you were always the problem. This whole thing with Kevin and Wendy was because he never felt enough. He needed a weak bitch to big him up and make him feel like he was so powerful. Because he knows in his heart of hearts, as much as he had the label of being Wendy's manager, you were never the brain behind Wendy. You had nothing to do with Wendy's success. You are a placeholder, boo. So he needed a bitch to make him feel like my hero. Okay, now you got it. Lay down in the bed you made. Why are you still doing things to tear down the mother of your child? If nothing else, now you want him to be fucked up? Yeah, I mean, I see your point. I, I, I do see your point. But take I, the money and go away quietly. You was never on TV. So it's not like we're saying he shouldn't have to quit his TV career. You was never on TV. So take the money and your bitch. And just like you hid her away before, y'all both go fucking hide somewhere. It's not responsible. It's not responsible what he's doing. No, but it's kind of they lack they both lack responsibility because everything was played out in public. And he caught a lot of hell. He caught a lot of jokes. He caught a lot of shit and everything on TV was being put out there and the joke was on him every day. Well, guess what? He shouldn't be trying to murder Miss Jones in the morning. Oh, and there we have it. Yeah. Oh, we got back. Oh, we came back to that. Okay. All right. So So Squid Games is amazing. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Part of it is you don't be trying to murder people and then think that they're not going to call you on your shit. Gotcha. I have the right to feel this way. My feelings matter. That was real. Mm-hmm. I could not be here today. Mm-hmm. But for white boy Lloyd, getting my car for me every morning. Oh, God, what if they had hit him thinking they was getting me? But that didn't happen. Thank God. Yeah, thank the point God. is, he's been reckless from the beginning. Right. When does it end? When does it end? How far you got to drag Wendy down? You so happy. You got what you want. You got the bitch. You got your new family. Mm-hmm. And you got her money. But y'all are so tacky and disgusting that you have to rub it in her face and not even give her space to get back on her feet gracefully and just do the one thing she loves to do, her show. If something Mm. happens to Wendy, it's his fault. And he pointed at the, okay. Mm. But how does she, but, but I, I, you know, I know you love your friend and I know she's been, she's been, a mentor. And I don't even know what? No, because fuck Wendy sometimes. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Wait a second. No. Wait a... Because you guys know, I didn't tell everybody else, but y'all know Wendy wasn't yeah, that. Yeah, we know. Yeah. Yeah. We know. This has more to do with me being loyal right. than her returning the loyalty, but I'm just a right. loyal bitch. So go ahead. I'm sorry. Is, I didn't is it... No, 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 no. I'm glad you did. But is there a, a interlying thing where we're going to keep scapegoating Kev when there's an underlying problem that's deeper than that with Wendy? And it's it's been there since way before she met Kev. And I'm, I'm asking. I'm not making a statement. I'm asking. Is there something? Because at a certain point for her to get better, she's going to get over this. If this heartbreak is what you're saying is is having a major part. We're going to have to get over that because it's not there's no coming back. Well, I, just need her pain, I just need her pain to justify me stabbing that nigga up because oh, I never got to see him face to face after he tried to have me murdered. That was so honest. That was so honest. <laughs> that was all. That's a that's a hurt Jonesy responding right now. That's a hurt Jonesy. That's yeah, we're not. I mean, but if yeah. somebody tries to threaten your life, you have the right to be right. angry. Right. That's, that's true. You have the right to be angry. Yeah, and we right and there. we just skipped over that and signed back on last January. Like, hi, it's the reunion show. We're nice now. Yeah. Can't fight that one. Mm-mm. But 
can't fight to that. Get back to all the hurt that Wendy did, the other side of it, which mm. is why I don't want to talk about the Alpo stuff. But you can't be doing stuff. Can't be starting something. You want to be starting something. Got to be starting something. Yeah. Yeah. Just mm. let's leave that alone. But that was a lot. That was, mm-hmm. and I see why a lot of people don't have a don't have any type of sympathy for her. She never did nothing to me. But right. there's a lot of people that I understand are sitting there going like, "Hey, whatever happens to her, happens to her." Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if I can repost an Instagram or or put it on TikTok or anything else, yeah, I, I, that's what I'm gonna do for the paybacks of you telling my infidelities to the world and my kids and wife having to find out about it on one of the biggest radio stations in New York City. Because I remember them phone calls. So I understand why there are a lot of people who are like, fuck it. Mm-hmm. People you get what I, you get and you don't yeah. get upset. Yeah. And, you, and you don't you don't get upset. So I understand both sides of it. My right, guy, right. I, you know. That's why I said my shit comes from less from being a loyal friend to her. <laughs> <laughs> less from that and more from the... And, and part of it is seeing myself in that situation because it could have been like it, it's it's mary mary got taken down the same way so i'm saying i see a part of me that could have maybe been so mm-hmm. i'm trying to put out the little clarion call the bastards that try it <laughs> i'm here for all the women that you bastards try it with mm-mm. as long as i have a platform mm-mm. and i'm getting you i'm calling them all out but you're right. She did a lot of shit and she's not no angel. She is not the holy grail of the old oh, since when did she become a fucking saint? Uh-huh. But my shit, I have to acknowledge, <laughs> bitch, you ain't that loyal. Like, <laughs> you just trying to get in jabs, bitch. You just, <laughs> jabs are us at this point. <laughs> just, this is what I will say the takeaway. Take please, away. please, please be careful who you decide to have children with. Because that's the one bond, that whole thing that never goes away. If she and Kevin had never had a child, which maybe you remember she talked about losing all those ba- babies prior to. Right, right. Maybe those were warnings, red flags from God, second chances from God. But she just kept on, kept on, kept on, kept on wanting to have and now you got it. And now you connected to this clown for forever. Mm, 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 mm. I just be that? looking at things from, you know. It is the but, biggest, one of the, probably one of the biggest decisions a woman has to make is who she decides to have children and with. Men. And, and men, because it's and a lot of bitches oh, out yeah. there too. Yeah, I'm but, certain men can relate as well. Yeah, our shit happens by mistake. Don't be having don't be having mistakes. Mistakes be the problem. If you if you really put a lie detector on the average dude and ask him how many kids he had on purpose, that percent is gonna be under 50%. Yeah, it's gonna be under 50%. Well, but if you sometimes... don't want no accidents, then you gotta, you know, move accordingly. Hey, right. Yeah. Hey, it wasn't an accident. Don't be weak to the flash. Don't be weak to the flash, Mike Sean. Mm-hmm. Don't be weak to the flash. We all been weak. We all been weak. We all been weak. You just gotta you just gotta every kid's a blessing. Every child's a blessing, no matter how they got here. Can we go with that bullshit? Sober, intoxicated by mistake. Listen, yes, fuck them kids. On a Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> on a Tuesday <laughs> afternoon. In the car. You know, it's just like, you know, don't nobody plan to have a kid in a car. Ain't nobody doing that on purpose. That that was just. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but. So, guys, like, we're laughing about it, but everybody that's watching this, when I say be careful, is when you start dating somebody, have your, like, already plan out how many years you plan to stay before you go to the next level and set some goal points for the next level. Because everyone doesn't deserve to go to the next level with you. Mm-hmm. And unless you want to waste years upon years upon years in a relationship that may not be suited for you and maybe some shit just to say you in a relationship, put these marks in place that if by this time I see this from her or I'm receiving this from her or we're doing this together, then we can both go to the next level because the person that you're dating may not be the best co-parent 
And I say co-parent because in the event something goes wrong, y'all got to be able to be decent to each other. You got to be able to know that me and Mm -hmm. this guy can sit at parent-teacher conferences, me with someone else, him with Mm -hmm. someone else, and everybody stay focused on what the meeting is about our child. If you can look at that person as being that person, Mm -hmm. that's just one of the criteria for having a kid with someone. You need to also look at crazy members of the family. All day. DNA, that should be DNA. Genetics. That barbecue means something. It really does. When when you at that barbecue, you're not there to party. You are there to evaluate. Do you want to be part of this shit? That's it. For a long, long extended time. Do you want to be part of this? Right. (laughs) And, and, how likely is our kid to be cousin like Titi? them? Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's another criteria. And then there's the how responsible would this person be if, say, for example, our mortgage was backed up? Is he going to go or she going to go and buy a Birkin bag? What? Or is she the type of person that will say, forget the Birkin. We need the roof over our head, baby. And I know we need this money more than mm-hmm. pay attention. Mm-hmm. And on, the flip, and on the flip side, if that dude, if we're in a bad situation, is he willing to swallow his pride and drive 15 hours in a Lyft or Uber and be an Uber That's driver right. to do whatever it takes and get that mm-hmm. second job? Mm-hmm. Like you, you, it's the, like you get, said, it's the character. Or first, or first job. Or first That's, job. And that's why I had that prenup in place because I knew that bitch was oh. Always comes back to me. Hey, it's the new Miss Jones featuring Michael Sean. <laughs> <laughs> people love the truth but to the point character counts it does it does now folks y'all need to look at yourselves too because maybe the crazy family member is in your family so you might want to take your own notes about your own family at your own barbecue just right. in case and find someone that's evenly killed that's evenly that's yoked to you that's evenly it. yoked that's manageable. That y'all understand. Yep. I'm a little crazy, and you're a little crazy. crazy. But I'm like, crazy. You know, mix, mixes. Mixes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and move accordingly, because everyone's not not crazy. Right. <laughs> but we still deserve love. I'm totally in that category. But we still deserve love. <laughs> and pay attention to holidays like Mother's Day. Ooh. <laughs> or or the birthday. Going. <laughs> birthday. If on your birthday Let's he go. decides to buy himself Gucci shoes on your birthday. Ouch. Ouch. That's character. That's the lack of character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to look good on your birthday, boo. I'm trying to look good. What? These I'm are ste- red flags. I'm stepping out with you. These are red flags. <laughs> red flags. You may, if, if he's making you late for your appearance at the Holyfield fight because he can't figure out what outfit to wear and you lose that. the bag. Yeah. Do you remember that? I and remember you lose that. the bag because this nigga can't put together the outfit. Mm-hmm. Pay attention. His priorities mm-hmm. are wrong. Mm-hmm. It'll cost you in the long run. He's not going to change. She ain't neither. In my case, the he. <laughs> True story, folks. True story. Girl. I love this show. I love this show. True story. And understand that we know sometimes you ignore. We're trying to tell you not to ignore these red flags. Right. Because I we were in this woman's ear. She ignored some of these red flags. But continue on. But continue but, on. But but really not, because I had that prenup. So that means that I was oh, listening. Okay. All right. No, you, you I was on listening. That. You were listening. I just, you know what it was? The pressure of all my peers and where I was at my life in that time, I felt like I had accomplished everything except for a wedding. Notice I said wedding and not a marriage. Mm. I mm. wanted the day. I wanted the day. I knew he was never going to be able to provide. I knew he didn't know what that even looked like. I knew he didn't, but I was so selfish and manipulative mm. that I wanted what I wanted. And it didn't matter. I was with that man at that time. So you're going to marry me and let's go do it. And so I have to own that. And I do. I made poor decisions, but I punished myself 13 years after. So I'm, I'm clean now. And I did the work. The work is why I can say that I had a hand in that. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't the victim. I chose that. I ran that. No, look, wait, easy. <laughs> you gotta do the work. I did the you gotta, work. 
Yeah, you've got to acknowledge, you know, it's not always the other person. You, you know, we do play a role in how things evolve or devolve. And, um, and sometimes yeah. that be based on our scars right. or our insecurities. Yep. I want to be a bride. I want to be a bride. I want to be a bride. But I knew in the back of my head, bitch, you know this nigga. You see it. Get you a prenup. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Doing the work is important. You know, I learned that from watching Iyanla. All right. We're going to move on now. We're going to. No, because I was about to say, Mike, you the longest fiance I've ever oh. known in my life. <laughs> now. Thank you, Jack Daniels. <laughs> we got I think 10 more. time is up. Yeah, we got 10 more minutes. <laughs> we got 10 more. We got, we got 10 more. Look, I put it out there. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I am not, I am not a prize. And I love y'all women to play. He is so funny. He must be great to be with. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. I've been trying, I've been trying to warn y'all. All that cute comedy shit, but I, you know, but women are stubborn because you know <laughs> that cute comedy shit. <laughs> y'all be thinking that cute comedy shit because I look harmless. That's what it is. I got a harmless look about like he, he can. OK, all right. I'll fuck self-esteem up. Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I trust and I I, I I thank God every day for Stacy. She's stubborn, too, but I thank God every day. I do. But even when my first when I got married the first time, I was the dude in that situation where I was just the person being put in a game plan of marriage. You said that oh, and you acknowledged okay. that you told me yeah. that. I followed her to college, hung out with her at college, wasn't doing nothing. Followed her to graduate school, wasn't doing nothing. And she was like, when she graduated gra- graduate, graduate school, she basically said, OK, the next step is we get married. Um, my dumb ass said, all right, you know, I mean, she's a church going girl. You know, she ain't got too many bodies on her, you know, because on paper, she, she looked was, like a great, yeah, right. she was a good great candidate. Right. This is all new news to me. Keep going. Yeah. And I, I mean, but but I knew I wasn't going to be loyal. Like, I knew this from the door. I said, I said, this is ah, it's whatever. Like, OK. And that's not but a good you, thing. But do but, you think that she do you think she knew? I hmm, think when I think question. I think there was a side. Of, I think her mother knew. God rest her soul. I think her mother knew. Her mother gave me the statement that you said earlier. She said, I remember, I'll never forget, I was at the table at her house. And her mother came straight out and said, you know, you two are unequally yoked. And I didn't know exactly what that meant. And I didn't know I was really the negative part on this unequally yoke. I was the one she was saying was furthest from God. Like, I, And God, she was a beautiful woman. But I, I didn't know that. But I got put in that blueprint and I went along with it like a dumbass. I just went along with it because it was safe. But you didn't know. Right. But you didn't know. Yeah. And you came with your own set of stuff, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You so know, you I, were just not rocking the boat. Like you talk about this in your one man show. Mm-hmm. Michael Sean relapse. Relapse again. Yes. Relapse again. Yeah. You talk about your vulnerabilities and you talk about the things that shape you to be that one that doesn't want right. to rock the boat. Right. That just wants to be safe. So don't right. go beating up on yourself because there's mm-hmm. a reason. And, and you could have been a lot worse. You could have been a nigga that wants to rock boats, that comes into girls' lives purposely. To rock boats. Mm-hmm. Right. We all know those dudes, right? We all know those dudes. But we just so, grew up in a different culture. Like, I, I'm always shocked. Like, I don't know if you know this, Jones, but I just think you do. And researchers should know this kind of. I don't know how your parents were with you. But we're mm-hmm. kind of like the first generation of parents who kind of going against the grain of how yes. our parents raised us. Oh, yes. Big time. Like, I've never cursed at my kids. OK, I have. And then I had to apologize. Right. So okay. it, it's not Good. something I feel too bad. Okay. Like I had to apologize for, you know, but I was used to being addressed. Like if my dad said, yo, clean your fucking room. That really wasn't a big deal. That was just mm-hmm. like clean your fucking room. The way I raised my kids, like if I ever say clean your fucking room, like literally yeah. they would you would think I broke hearts like I yes. actually. So I we're agree. like the first generation of parents that are doing now. I know Jonesy might have said clean your fucking room. That doesn't mean anything, Jonesy. You're still the first generation out because <laughs> we you're the first generation of parents. That is the football mom that is looking for them to have a higher education, that is looking mm-hmm. for scholarships, that is taking mm-hmm. them to different functions and stuff like mm-hmm. that. That is productive. our parents, not because they didn't love us. They didn't know no better. Right. They didn't know any better. And they, so had, I- they didn't have resources either. But the, but but they wanted that for us. They always yes, wanted us they to go did. to college. They always want, they so did. when I say no, but but you're right because I found myself apologizing to Che the other day, and telling him, "Mom fucked up. Mom fucked up. Like this is not to negate all your little bad Che nanigans. Che nanigans. But because I was raised with the clean your fucking room, 
you better fucking not have the white teacher call me today, bitch, or I'm going to end you. But because I grew up with that, I give you that. And I can tell you don't know how to respond. And it's making you be this way. And then I'm yelling at you for being this way. Mm -hmm. We got to cut that cycle. But that's what I grew up knowing. So please bear with me. And to have to humble yourself, me, to a kid, is it's it's not very good. It doesn't feel comfortable, but I needed to do it to not damage him because I don't want him being broken. I don't want him being scarred because mm. the world is already going to be scarring enough. I need him to know he has a safe place with me. So to your point, Mike, we do the best that we can do. And we are the first generation to mm -hmm. not be, oh, do this, do that. Because I said, so don't question me. That, because that's what, that's all right. we, that's all we knew. Yeah. It, Our it parents was, were just trying to provide, feed us, and have keep us, us safe. Getting safe, killed. Right. Keep us off the streets, roof over our head. Like, I think we're, I think Mike Sean is, is hit on something. Like, we're the first generation, at least in our, you know, Latino and African American communities where we're trying to raise reasonable human beings. We're not that, just trying to keep the children alive today. Right. We're and trying force to our raise, will on them. We're not trying yes. to force our will. We're trying to let them ask questions and empower yes. themselves with not just going along right. and, and taking status quo. Like it's right. okay to say, why, teacher, you're you're not wrong. That don't or, make teacher, sense. Yeah. I have a different perspective. But then don't fucking question me, nigga. <laughs> Right. Wait, wait. <laughs> but that's but that's real. Like, <laughs> how do you teach him to be? Yeah. But then when it's to you, it's like, don't you dare ask me why. Right. Bitch. Just right, do it because right, I right, said, right. I don't know. No, I, that's I the always, hardest part. It is. Right. I always <laughs> tell my daughter, like, you can feel the way you feel. You are entitled to feel the way you feel. What you are not entitled to do is be disrespectful. So but if see, you need them, a minute. But they don't realize together. even that they're being disrespectful, Mike, because we put them in these schools mm. with these other children that talk to their parents crazy. Mm -hmm. And the and the white teachers entertain that bullshit and they don't be they're not like the nuns that be like the nuns. The nuns. Oh. So then our kids think that that is normal and then they test us. And mm -hmm. here comes the challenge. Do I be old school or do I be nouveau? Yeah. In real life, if you think about how we were raised, a strong your kid having a strong opinion could wind up getting them fucked up by me in the way we were raised. Oh, heck strong, yeah. A strong opinion was labeled yeah. disrespect. Disrespectful. Or, or any opinion. Yeah, any kids, opinion that matter. Yeah. Children should be seen, not heard. How many times do we hear that? And barely seen. Go go over there. Barely go, seen. Go with your little friends. You see, I got mm -hmm. company. Why mm -hmm. are you still standing here? Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> Do we all agree that we all need Dr. Jeff to fix us? <laughs> At least once a week. I agree. <laughs> At least once a week. If we don't fix ourselves, we don't do an audit, mm -hmm. an audit or an edit, we repeat in the cycle. And even though yep. we came out okay, did we? Did we? I don't know. I'm the son. But even though we came out okay, is there not a better way that we can manage and and raise our kids. I don't Absolutely. Know. There's a better way. There's no perfect way. I'm, I'm sure, you know, there's always room for improvement. There's always room for improvement. You ever yeah. catch one of your kids talking on the phone, they don't know you home, and Ooh. you realize they sound just like fucking you? <laughs> <laughs> fucking you. <laughs> and I'm like, and I really can't even get mad. Mm -hmm. The only thing I could bring up was when I talked and I, I took a deep breath and I walked away, I let the phone call continue, right? <laughs> I said, I'm gonna let her continue with just me and her in the house. I'm, I'm gonna let her get up, but I know she's blasting on somebody. So I'm like, I like, I like the fact that she's 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 defending herself. She's strong. She's strong. I said, all right, girl. All right, I'm not even gonna hit you with this is my house. I hit her with the, this is our house. So we're gonna have to respect our house mm. and how you talk in our house. Now I know you've heard me say those words. <laughs> I know they came from you. They came, and I know where you got this from. <laughs> I know. And let me explain. The words you use were crispy. They were on the level of cursing. You were at a 10. Like, and I respect that. Wow. Because <laughs> you was using all the right words in yes. all the right ways. Because when you say bitch and whore in the same phrase, you have <laughs> nailed it. You have nailed it. You're dope. You're dope with it. 
but we can't do that in the house. We're not going to be able to do this in the house. So, so we had we that gonna, conversation. We, so we now we're going to blame change. it on the infrastructure. <laughs> <laughs> I still do that. This is my house thing. I'm sorry. I still. He is too. No, I he still, is too. But he yeah. trying to manipulate her by saying you. it's our house. Yes, uh, it's yes. our house. Okay, let me tell you why I say it's our house. Because it always would piss me off when my dad would say something like, he would be fucking up and doing whatever he's doing. You know, everybody knows I, know I love my, to I lo- I I love my to dad. And my dad would be like, this is, you know, this shit not going to happen in my house. And in my mind, in the back of my mind, I would never be bold enough to say it. I'd be like, if I really conspire with mom, we can get you out of here. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm, ha- I'm closing my computer right now. Give me his phone. Give me your phone right now. In the back of my mind, if I really got a mom's ear. But I would never do it. He's going to break up the whole marriage. Whoa. Just, just to Bro. win. <laughs> Real, but I never did. In actuality, I did the total opposite. So it always stuck in my mind. Like, oh, stop with this is my house. Because when, when you have company over, it's all welcome to our home. Well, motherfucker, why is it our home when we have company? But then when you get mad, it's my house. It's my house. But, but this is what I say to that. Okay, you can be in the spirit of me when you don't think I'm listening and you going hard. Right, or right, friends right. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Be in the spirit of me when it's time to take that test. Oh, be in the spirit of me when it's time mm-hmm. to get out there and get that bread. Mm-hmm. Be in the mm-hmm. spirit of me when it's out there to be out in the street in front of people representing our family in a graceful manner. Mm-hmm. Have that same spirit. Show me that you can shift and that you get that you might mm-hmm. need to shift and that you're not just this one way. Mm-hmm. And then and then we can sit down and have drinks together. That's not bad at all. It's not bad. That's at all. fair. That's fair. That's fair. Can't be just one sided. Can't amazing- be all the slick talking. Jalen hit me with that when we were, I was taking him back to school. He was like, I question you. And I, you know, I don't take what you say as status quo because you raised me to question. You raised me not to just accept what another man says. I said, I also raised you to go in there and study and not wait to the last <laughs> minute to hand in a paper. Mm-hmm. So if you want to pick that, yeah, you want to pick this. Exactly. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have filled your cups. They are overflowing. I hope. Overflow. They're good. They're good. We mm. appreciate you. Thank you to our sponsors. Um, do we have any new sponsors on board? Yes, we do. My girlfriend Andrea. She was supposed to send me her website information. She's a real estate agent, oh, but she nice. just no. That's the one that won the lottery. That's my friend from the project. Oh yes, yes, the- yes. I remember so this she, conversation. So she's a like she is like an honorary sponsor this month of the Miss nice. Jones reunion show. So thank you, Andrea. When you get me the information to your real um your travel agency, I'm gonna let the world know. But thank you for coming on board, and thank you for the other sponsors that remain to be on board with us. And thank you to all of you that you know hang on and be like, are you going to do another podcast? Because without Mike Sean, research Jay Black or Envy. It just be me. And for all that, y'all might as well just catch me on YouTube live. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Mike. Because I know thank you're busy. You. I, I really do appreciate your male perspective and the humor that you bring to lighten up shit because it's real heavy. Mm-hmm. Thank you, research. No worries. You my friend, so thank you. <laughs> mm. How much was that lottery your friend? Oh, uh, never mind. We talk later. <laughs> no, no, we could talk now. It was a scratch off ticket. And it was, was it 2 million or 1 million recently? On a remember? scratch off? And I think it fucking scratch mm-hmm. off. Oh, shit. Oh. Yes. Are we telling too much of her business? No, because it was in the paper. Oh, okay. It was in the paper. All it right. was in the paper. But the funny thing is that she had called me before she hit it. <laughs> and I didn't call her back immediately, right? And then somebody said, you know, Andrea won the lottery. So I called us like, I guess I'm a little late, right? <laughs> <laughs> classic <laughs> she was like bitch whatever but we're good like we're good she know i didn't want nothing but i appreciate her coming on board to sponsor the show because we need that and if you are interested in being a sponsor make a donation or being an advertiser you can see the subscribers and you can see the traction because we be getting like fifteen thousand views now which is mm-hmm. good for us because we don't mm-hmm. do it as often as we were right Right. That's good. That's 15,000 plus um, for your business or your company. So here's our information. If you need to reach out to me and you want to come on board, come on board and we will promote you. And remember, when you promote here, it's forever. Once it gets, right. once she posts it, it's forever. This ain't right. no. You can always go back. Yeah, you can always go back. So this is promotion forever. 
it lasts forever. So, all right, guys. Be good, everybody. Be and.